Yeah, we got rain. Just what you don't need at harvest time. Looking like about six tenths. So it's a chance to catch up on some grain sample organizing and such. Oat dust, itchy. I'll have to excuse my cluttered workbench. It's a little bit like my cluttered and disorganized mind. I'm going to make a little space here later on today, but for now, I had uh, a few comments on one of my videos about uh, the high bushel weight on these oats we harvested. So, I was going to show you how it's done here. I should mention, if you're a fan of the metric system, uh, this may not make much sense to you. But out here in backwoods Saskatchewan, we still pretty much speak imperial, where uh, grain is measured in bushels, not tons, and uh, land is measured in acres. So I'm not going to comment on how many bushels per acre these oats yielded, but they were quite acceptable to my standards. Oh, I should mention, this here is... Uh, yeah, this shows our kind of a hybrid system we use here nowadays. Uh, this is actually a 0.5 liter measuring cup. So there you go. Metric is working its way in. Uh, I'll show you the formula later on. What you got to do is measure out a full cup of the grain in question. And this is the approved method I've been shown how to do. Get it nicely leveled off. Takes a little time. I've got to say, these are some of the cleanest oats I've harvested in a while. There's uh, virtually no wild oats. That would be the black ones. Uh, color is still good on these. They had uh, a slight rain on them after swathing, but not enough to affect them too badly. Now this is taking longer than it should. Okay. When no more roll out, that's what I'm going to call good enough. So you take your special industry approved measuring scale. Carefully pour it in so you don't spill any. And take a reading. So we're over 250, 260, but not 270. So 250, no, 260, a little heavy. Still a shade heavy. Okay, uh, we're going to call that 261.8. So, that's 261 grams per half liter. So what you've got to do now is check out your uh, uh, conversion scale which can be a little confusing until you uh, learn a few of the tricks here. So, what did I say? Two, I've forgotten already. 261.8. So I don't think they go down to decimal point here. So we'll call it 261 to be conservative. So, there's your column for the weight, 261 equals either 45 pounds per bushel or 40.5 depending on whether you use the A scale or the W. The W indicates the Winchester scale, the A indicates the Avery scale. According to what I read on the Canadian Grain Commission site, uh, we use the Avery scale here in Canada. So, uh, they're near 45 pound per bushel oats which uh, I believe is 
just about 10 pounds above your standard bushel weight. Oats were usually assumed to be 34 pounds per bushel, I think, when it came to uh, sales. So anytime you get a weight like that, it uh, indicates pretty good quality grain. Anyway, should we try it with wheat? Okay. Try not to spill any of this. We have... We have some 2020 wheat here. And again, the uh, rolling method. I should add that uh, these are unclean samples straight off the combine. So obviously, if these samples were cleaned up to uh, seed standards, they'd be considerably heavier because your dockage, like weed seeds and uh, little bits of wheat chaff or whatever, they're light. I see a wild oat right in there. So there's your half liter measure again, which we weigh. I think you're going to see, yeah, you can see the trash in their white caps. I guess I didn't have my combine set right, but whatever. So, 200, I'm going to say this is going to be over 300 grams based on past experience. Yeah, well over. So there's 360, 390, darn near 400. Let's try 400. Four, right about there. Back to zero. No, four is a little bit heavy. No. No, we're just under the 400 gram mark. So, what do we got? 390. Lighting's not great in here. 390. 398, 399, so 398 and a half, and we'll round that down to 385. So obviously we got to find the uh, the wheat scale, which is right here, 398, 390. 398. So, using the Avery scale, as I said before, we're looking at 65.4 pounds per bushel, which is very good weight for spring wheat. Uh, I think standard measure for wheat is uh, 60 pounds per bushel. So, looking good. Anyway, we'll see what the Grain Commission says on this. I get a grade back from them from the sample I sent in in some, uh, a few weeks. Color looks good. A few ugly kernels in there. I don't know if that's wheat midge or uh, whatever. But anyway, there you go. How to get a bushel weight on your grain.